Should be a cue for that, like cue and annoying boss music. It's so cheesy. Sonic 2, look at it. Sonic 2 replica. Oh shit, I got caught. But the game itself plays differently. So when you do get to this part, there's quite a difference. Up before he even got to do that spin dash turtleneck thing, I don't know what he was doing, but the thing that he normally does, he didn't even get a chance to do. But that's because the, the mechanics is broken. All right, we're on to the end of uh, this level. Time to go to uh, one of the best and worst levels, best and worst level coming right here. Lost Labyrinth Zone. Um, there's a lot to like uh, about this level. Color palette. Um, the music. The first sign of like some decent music starts showing once you get here. Some better gameplay mechanics start showing up. Except for that shit. See that shit? That's dumb. That's dumb too. Homing is dumb. <laughs> oh shit, I should have gone back because I can go up there. It's about to get terribly flawed from here on out. My gameplay is about to get terribly flawed. Except for uh, Maggie. Maggie is really good. I don't know how I killed him. <laughs> the game feels buggy, but I wouldn't necessarily say it has bugs. I haven't seen any Sonic 4 bugs yet. So if someone does know of a Sonic 4 bug, uh, link it or something. Maybe I can kill him because I got the shield on. I doubt it. shows a lot it shows a lot was put into Sonic 4 for creating something not necessarily original but it's definitely different it's kind of like Labyrinth I fucked up again it's kind of like Labyrinth but you can't really be mad at that like I like Labyrinth it was just a slow level and it was hard but the concept of it is good Yeah, I'm, I can get the emerald now. If you get to this part, you still have like at least with like 30 rings or 20 rings, you can still get the emerald. Just stay on this rock. So they give you plenty and plenty of uh, rings to go from. Or maybe it's not this level. Maybe it's the, the next level. It might be three, uh, act two of this that allows you to like just get like 30 40 rings at the end plus act two yes yeah, act two because act two has that dumb ass part that i'm not going to talk about until i get to it another chaos emerald you know what's weird is that they changed the color palette of the emeralds like they're not obtained within the same colors they were back in the day in order installments open all the doors give me all these rings all the rings are important make sure I don't none of them get left behind I could have got some some time but I opt out on that opportunity just a while ago I might have to go back out there though damn these these 
fuckers is frustrating. Look at that. Skills, dog. And some time. Uh, get it. Damn, all that for just some time? God. Then you gotta go back through that shit, and that's the hard part. Oh, maybe you can't go back through that shit. I don't know what the fuck happened. Alright, this might be a good opportunity to start explaining that thing that I was talking about. Nope, I missed it. I tried to hit the start button, but I missed it. But yeah, apparently you can you can pause you can pause the levels of a Chaos Emerald and just retry it in the middle of it if you somehow failed in it like I did. Oh, okay. Worst stage of the game. Best concept in the game, but worst stage in the game. And I'll show you why. It's like mid-level. Mid it's really one of them things that you're like, why did they do this? I like it for that Sandopolis type of feel, because I like Sandopolis with the lights off, but at the same time, you know, those ghosts come out and they whip your ass. So, limited vision is good as much as it is bad. This is like one of the best levels though, in concept. It was just pulled off incorrectly. <laughs> Holding down doesn't help you inside this game. Like, if you spin dash off or something, you're screwed. Unless you find a way to short hop off of that shit. And even still, not many people are going to do that. Some of the reasons why homing is good, even though I don't like it. Oh shit, I hate this part too. You can lose all your rings from the debris. You can lose all your rings from the debris of explosions. Oh man. I feel like such a tool. Spin dash. Get out of here, homie. I am doing fairly de decent, though. But once we get to that part of the stage, I'm going to slow down. And I know how to do it. It's just a matter of pulling it off and explaining what exactly happens that causes people to like go into such a dismay of this game. Patience is a virtue when it comes to shit like this. Yeah, there we go. Pro skills. Pro status. Don't stand next to it. Whatever you do, just don't stand next to explosions. Especially if you if you want something that's going to explode, make sure you jump. Here you go. Here's the part that I'm talking about. That's the most frustrating thing in Sonic. It's right here. These four lever switches or whatever that you gotta hit, this shit don't matter. The one on the top of me and the one to the left of me don't matter. What you gotta do is hit this one right here, wait like three seconds, then hit this one, jump over this, and get up there, and you're out. I wonder how many people stop playing Sonic 4 when they reach that part, because there's no explanation on what you have to do. None. 
So I'm almost sure that a lot of people just was like, you know what, fuck it. I almost said fuck it. I didn't even like the game like that. I thought it was a bad Sonic game, and now I play it all the time, but at the time when I was first initially brought onto it, I thought it was bad. You can't really, you, I guess you can blame me for calling it bad, but at the same time, you can't. It's, it's, a, it's a decent amount of issues with the game. It doesn't make it unplayable though, and I still recommend it, even though a lot of people wrote it off. See, the debris really does kill you. I hate, I hate that. Cause you feel like you're doing all good and you got all these rings and you're all excited. Can't wait to get to the end of the level to go and attempt to kill it, to get an emerald. And then shit just happens to have your whole brain like, what? What? I'm scared. I'm scared right now. See that shit? It's a very scary feeling when you know that you have an emerald in your sights and it's just a way again. Jump. I don't know what I said. I said a way again or some shit like that. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but it's in your sight and you just lose it. This is one of the most frustrating things ever. I almost forgot to jump right there too. Don't jump on this either because you'll, you'll fuck up. But yeah, they give you plenty of rings to make up for all the bad habits of this level. All right, let's go back to this uh this level for this chaos emerald. Man, I hate this shit. I hate the chaos. I just I don't hate I don't hate the chaos emeralds, but it's just some things you just don't want to do more than once. And here I am doing it more than once. <laughs> Fuck, I got caught in the info. Back to the little dumbass bumpers that gets it just so frustrated. See that? Retry. I hit it just in case. Just in case. <laughs> oh, I went the right way then. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I went backwards. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, shit. It's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. All that wave dashing action that was going on was not necessary. <laughs> One more emerald. I'm four in. Proving the point that the emeralds are easier to obtain if you have control of the level as opposed to control of the character. It feels weird if you're coming from an older Sonic, but once you really kind of work your way into the mechanics of it, it's a lot better. <laughs> 